Hello everyone. Today we will exploring the differences between nuclear DNA and mitochondrial DNA. Two fundamental types of genetic materials found in our cells. As we have already discussed, DNA is the blueprint of life, can the genetic instructions necessary for the development and functioning of all living organisms. So there are two main types of DNA that are found in human cells. First one is nuclear DNA, which is present in the nucleus, and second one is mitochondrial DNA, which is found in the mitochondria. So let's dive into their functions and differences. Introduction: DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, is the genetic material found in all living organisms. Genetic material means the set of instructions inside our cells that are, tells our body how to grow, work, and stay alive. It's mostly made up of DNA, and it's what we inherit from our parents. Now, inside our cell, we actually have two types of DNA. There is nuclear DNA and mitochondrial DNA, which we call empty DNA. So, even though both types are made up of the same chemical building block, they are quite different in terms of where they are located, how they are inherited, and what they do. Nuclear DNA. Let's take a closer look at nuclear DNA, often referred to as n-DNA. This is the main type of DNA found in our bodies, and it is located right in the center of the cell, in a special compartment called the nucleus. So think of the nucleus like the brain of the cell, where all the important instructions are stored. Now, nuclear DNA contains the majority of our genetic material, over ninety-nine percent of it, actually. That means almost everything about how we look, how our bodies function, and even our risk of certain diseases is encoded in this DNA. What really interesting is that nuclear DNA is inherited from both of our parents. Half of it comes from our mother, and the other half from our father. That's why you might have your mom's eyes, but your dad's height is a mix of both their genetic contribution. Structurally, nuclear DNA is a quite complex, it's linear in shape, which means it looks like long thread, and it is neatly packaged into structures called chromosomes. Humans have forty-six chromosomes in total, or twenty-three pairs. Each parent contributes one chromosome to each pair, and there is something cool: every cell in a body that has a nucleus contains two copies of nuclear DNA. This is what we call being diploid. One copy comes from the mother, the other from the father. So this duplication helps ensure that if something happens to one copy, the other can often still carry out the needed function. So overall, nuclear DNA is like the master control for all of our genetic information. It is the main player in inheritance. Development and even forensic investigation. Without it, our bodies wouldn't know how to grow, heal, or even survive. Mitochondrial DNA. Now let's talk about mitochondrial DNA or empty DNA, the lesser known but incredibly important type of DNA in our cells. Unlike nuclear DNA, which sits inside the cell's nucleus. Mitochondrial DNA is found in the mitochondria. These are often called the powerhouse of the cell because they generate the energy needed for the cell to function. So it makes sense that the DNA inside them would be directly linked to energy production. Structurally, mitochondrial DNA is quite different from nuclear DNA. Instead of being long and linear, it's small and circular, more like a loop. And while nuclear DNA is huge and complex. Mitochondrial DNA is much shorter, containing only 37 genes compared to the thousand found in nuclear DNA. These genes are essential for making the proteins that power our cells. 
one of the most fascinating things about mitochondrial dna is how it is inherited unlike nuclear dna which comes from both parents mitochondrial dna is passed down only from the mother that's because when an egg is fertilized the mitochondria in the sperm usually don't survive the process so all of your mitochondrial dna comes from your mother and her mitochondria dna come from her mother and so on another key difference is the number of copies each cell contains hundreds to even thousands of copies of empty dna while it only has two copies of nuclear dna the high copy number makes empty dna super useful in forensic science and ancient dna study especially when samples are degraded or really old so in short mitochondrial dna may be smaller and inherited differently but it plays a huge role in energy production and it helps scientists trace maternal ancestry and investigate genetic diseases related to the mitochondria right now let's compare nuclear dna and mitochondrial dna side by side to get a better understanding of how they differ each of these features tells us something unique about their structure function and inheritance location nuclear dna is found inside the nucleus of the cell which is like the command center where most of our genetic information is stored and protected on the other hand mitochondrial dna is located in the mitochondria which are spread throughout the cell these mitochondria are responsible for generating the energy the cell needs to function next is the shape Nuclear DNA is linear meaning it exists in long thread like structures these are organized into chromosomes mitochondrial DNA by contrast is circular it forms a loop more similar to bacterial DNA the difference in shape actually reflects their evolutionary history mitochondria are thought to have originated from ancient bacteria now let's look at inheritance Nuclear DNA is biparentally inherited half of it comes from our mother and the other half comes from our father but mitochondrial DNA is quite different it passed down only from the mother this is because the mitochondria in the sperm do not survive after fertilization so your mitochondria DNA is identical to your mother's and your grandmother's going all the way up the maternal line Size. Nuclear DNA is massive, about 3.2 billion base pairs long. It contains all the genetic information needed to build and run the entire human body. Mitochondrial DNA is much smaller, with only about 16,569 base pairs. But even with the tiny size, it contains essential genes for producing the energy that powers every cell. Copies per cell is another big difference. Each cell has only two copies of nuclear DNA, one from each parent. But when it comes to mitochondrial DNA, each cell can have hundreds to thousands of copies, depending on how many mitochondria are present. This is why mitochondrial DNA is so useful in forensic science because even if a if a sample is degraded, the chance of recovering empty DNA is much higher. Chromosomes. Nuclear DNA is organized into 46 chromosomes which we receive in 23 pairs. These chromosomes contain the vast majority of our genes. In contrast, mitochondrial DNA is made up of just one circular molecule. No chromosome pairs here, just a single compact loop of the genetic information. Now let's talk about function. Nuclear DNA contains most of our genes including the ones that determine our traits. regulate development and maintain body system mitochondrial dna has a very specific job it's mainly involved in energy production helping convert the food we eat into usable energy for the body through our cellular respiration and finally the mutation rate nuclear dna has a lower mutation rate because it's tightly regulated and protected inside the nucleus 
mitochondrial DNA on the other hand has a higher mutation rate. This is partly because mitochondria are exposed to reactive oxygen species which can damage DNA over time. Interestingly, this higher mutation rate also makes empty DNA useful for studying evolution and tracing maternal ancestry over long periods. So, as you can see, while both nuclear and mitochondrial DNA are crucial to life, they are quite different in terms of location, size, shape, inheritance, and function. Understanding these differences helps us appreciate how complex and beautifully coordinated our biology really is. Applications in science DNA plays a significant role in various scientific fields beyond just genetics. In forensic science, nuclear DNA is the gold standard for individual identification due to its high variability between people. However, in cases where DNA is severely degraded, like in old skeletal remains or hair shafts without roots, mitochondrial DNA becomes especially useful because it's more abundant and durable. In history and evolutionary studies, nuclear DNA helps trace recent ancestry and genetic relationships, providing a broad picture of a person's genetic background. On the other hand, mitochondrial DNA inherited only from the mother is a powerful tool for studying maternal lineage and tracking ancient human migrations across continents. In medical research, Mutation in mitochondrial DNA have been linked to several mitochondrial disorders. These include conditions affecting muscle function, energy production, and even neurodegenerative diseases. So while both types of DNA serve different functions, together they offer a comprehensive view across fields like forensics, anthropology, and medicine. Thank you so much, and this is all for today.